Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. So for a while now I've been trying to think of something to kind of come up with something a bit new and something different in my channel. So I wanted to come up with something that, you know, where I could kind of interact with my subscribers a lot more. So I came up with this concept of doing the battle of the box sets. So what I'm going to do is, it's going to be one of these things that I might do it every one, one or two, three weeks, something like that. And um, I'm going to show off two box sets. Now these, these could be very, very random. It could be very... Now, this video is not going to be... It's going to be kind of... Uh, this is going to be a tough one. I know it is. Uh, but I am going to do some real random ones where I'm going to... I have it in my mind that I'm going to do maybe a Alfred Hitchcock box set versus a Marvel box set. You know, it's going to be very out there. It's going to be very, very different. And I'm so, so curious to hear what people are going to say about some of these things. So, yeah, I'm going to show these box sets off. And it's going to be up to you, uh, my subscribers, to vote in the comment section... Just tell me what box set you think is the best. All I'm going to do in this video is show off the box sets as well as I can possibly show you. And uh, I'm going to leave it up to you to decide what is the best out of the two. It's just, again, it was just something that I wanted to do where I, I wanted to interact a lot more with my subscribers. Because in the last month, I've gotten so many new subscribers. And I really do want to meet you. I want to, I want to talk to you. I want, definitely want to interact with you. And uh, I hope this is a way of you kind of, yeah finally kind of talking to me and uh and hopefully you will leave a vote down below and hopefully you will enjoy the video as well so um for this video and this is going to be a tough one folks so i have them on my lap here so i'm going to try and lift them up so we have nightmare on elm street versus friday the 13th now th this this was i knew by doing this that this video was going to be tough uh these two box sets are beautiful they're gorgeous I'm um, a massive fan of both franchises, uh, and I know there is a serious, serious amount of love out there for both these box sets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off into my other room. I'm going to show you these two box sets as best as I can, uh, with as much detail as I can. And uh, I'm going to leave it up to you to vote and see what you think is the best out of the two box sets. So uh, I've opted for these two just before we go into the room. I opted for these two because... This video is going to be a bit long and I think this probably will be the longest video I'll do because there is so much to show in both these box sets. So that's why I decided to get these out of the way now. And I think it's going to be very fun and I'm going to have a blast revisiting these box sets. So let's not waste any time. Let's go into the room and let's have a look at these box sets. Right, so here we go. This is it. So as you can tell, starting off, the most obvious is the Nightmare on M Street box set is considerably bigger. Uh, but it has to be because that's housing uh, Digibooks, where the Friday the 13th uh, box set is just holding standard Blu-ray cases. Now, before I get into this uh, unboxing of these two incredible collections, the first thing I wanted to explain is this up here right on top, and it's this here, uh, Never Sleep Again documentary. So this is the bonus discs for this box set. So it's a strange set, this Nightmare on Elm Street box set. So when you see the Digibooks in it, the Digibooks can only be bought separate, uh, they can only be bought together, sorry. And the box set never actually came with the Digibooks. Now this sounds mad, I know it sounds crazy, but yes, the box never came with the Digibooks. So instead you had to buy all the Digibooks, then you had to buy this box set, and when you did buy this box set, you got this box, uh, this bonus disc with it, and uh, never sleep again, but it doesn't fit into the box itself. So what I do is I actually sit it on top, like so, and it actually still looks quite nice. So uh, let's not waste any time. Let's delve right into these boxes. We'll try and get through them as quickly as we can because we don't want this video to go on too long. So let's do it. Right, we'll start with the Friday the 13th collection. So look at that. It's not just extraordinary. The artwork is unbelievable. They got every Jason Voorhees on the cover of this. It actually starts here. Uh, and as you can see, this Mrs. Voorhees head is there as well. And you can see the boat there as well with Jason coming up behind. But yeah, so it starts there and it makes its way around. And uh, oh, I fell in love with the artwork the minute I seen this. It was so beautiful. And then it continues to this side here. Unbelievable. Every Jason on the cover. Then on the top there, you have that incredible picture of the mask as well with the crack and the blood and all that. It's fantastic. And then we'll take his around here. And this is the discs themselves. So uh, yeah, that's the box set itself. Uh, the box is a little flimsy. Uh, you can sort of see that there's already a bit of shelfware already coming on this box, which is actually a shame. 
Um, I, I didn't think it come on so quickly. Uh, so you can only imagine what this box is going to look like in a couple of years. So uh, let's take this out and have a look at them. Right, so here we go, Friday the 13th, part one. So I think with the first four discs on this, they put alternate artwork on the first, yeah, I think it's with the first four, uh, which is a bit strange. I don't know why they just didn't do it for the entire collection. So yeah, I will show you the spine in the back as well. Uh, and as you can see, this is completely loaded with features as well, uh, which is incredible when you consider that you actually get two bonus discs as well. So uh, open that up as well. So you've got the uh, original version and you've got the uncut version as well. And then I'll just show you the alternate artwork as well you get which is quite nice so yeah that is part one i'm not going to spend too much time on them folks because this video will go on for long uh go on for too long if i do so uh here we go friday the 13th part two and that is the original artwork as well so take it to the spine and the back uh great sequel this has to be said um still find friday the 13th to my to be my favorite in the franchise but uh, a lot of people have a lot of love for this part here uh, the one that introduced Jason. So yeah, that's the alternate artwork. Nothing too special about that one. So, so yeah, uh, just put that this back in, and on to part three. And this is the one now that Jason finally got his mask. I actually like that cover. That cover artwork. Uh, I think that's the alternate artwork. I think I changed it over. And uh, again, the spine, and then the back. Uh, this is my probably one of my favorites of this uh, when it comes to the sequels. That is, uh, this is a three D. A 3D edition of it. Um, this definitely, when it comes to all the transfers in this box, that this was the one that got the most uh, improvement uh, because uh, the the original Blu-ray that came out looked terrible. It was very um, the picture was very dirty. Um, picture incredibly soft as well, and uh, thankfully they actually removed all that dirt now with that part. So uh, yeah, final chapter. Uh, final chapter. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> so that's the original artwork as well. So take it to the spine and then the back there. And then you have a little Corey Feldman wearing a mask. Loved Corey Feldman in this movie. I am a big fan of Corey, Corey Feldman. Uh, especially his 80s work, that is. And uh, that's the alternate cover as well. So, yeah, the final chapter. So, that brings us on to uh, a new beginning. Uh, I think that's the original artwork as well. Uh, very simplistic. Nothing too special about it. But, uh, yeah, your spine... Then you're back there as well. Again, everything loaded and loaded and loaded with features, which is incredible. And then take the disc out, and yeah, there's a again the artwork on some of these are actually very very boring. I don't know why you change them. So yeah, that is part five, a new beginning. So that brings us to uh, yeah, this is Jason Lives. Uh, this is definitely the funniest of the franchise. Uh, the Friday the Thirteenth movie. Sorry, uh, I absolutely love this one. Uh, Jennifer Cook is in this. So if anyone's aware of Jennifer Cook, she was the girl that was in V. She played Elizabeth. Uh, I actually loved her in them. And uh, yeah, so the art, as you can see now, the alternate artwork has stopped, and it just you just get this one picture, and yeah, it's probably just Jason and all of them. So yeah, Jason Lives, great fun movie. Uh, Alice Cooper provided a lot of money, uh, music, sorry, for that, uh, to that movie. Uh, right, so The New Blood, this is part seven. Uh, Jason definitely met his match on this one, I have to admit. This girl just kicks the living shit out of all during this movie, uh, oddly enough. Uh, I actually do like this movie. Uh, it's uh, They're always trying to do something different with Jason. Uh, or Friday the 13th movie, as the, the more they go on. But this one, they really went different with it. Uh, kind of has this fire starter feel to it. And uh, yeah, that's the disc there. And then inside you have, uh, again, Jason. That's fantastic artwork. Uh, love that. So yeah, New Blood. So that brings us on now to the, my probably one of my least favorite uh, Friday the 13th movies, uh, Jason Takes Manhattan. So I'll show you the spine of it and then the back. Like, you know, Jason Takes Manhattan. He gets to Manhattan for the last, maybe what, 15 minutes of the movie. The whole film is just held on a ship. Which is kind of refreshing in a way as well to kind of take it out of the whole camp scene. But um, it just didn't work for me, this film. I don't know why. So, uh, yeah, Jason uh, takes Manhattan. He takes it in the last 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Uh, right, so you've got Jason Goes to Hell, another poor film. Uh, they, were in, uh, they were actually on a bad run of films uh, with the, the last two of these. This one, actually, probably the last three because I'm not a big fan of Jason X either. But um, I do love the artwork in this. Quite, quite brilliant. But uh, take us to the spine of it again, and then around to the back. It's a shame about this one because Sean S. Cunningham came back, the original creator, 
and uh, we thought we were going to get something very very special but unfortunately no so um yeah so you got the unrated version and you got the theatrical edition as well and then you've also got uh, alternate artwork now it's not the cover itself but it's the actual credit side of it that's um that's alternate don't quite understand why but should there we go so yeah jason goes to hell it could be the theatrical credits or something like that i'm not quite sure or the unrated so uh right jason x uh yeah again not a fan of this movie uh this now is really really they took it really over the top now with this one uh just i can't even say it, that he's in space it just sounds ridiculous uh so yeah open her up and uh they've done something similar with the last cover as well they put the alternate artwork on the uh the credit side of it as you can see so yeah jason x and uh that brings us on to freddy versus jason this is this is an incredible movie i love it i think the fight the, between the two of them at the end of it uh the choreography is unbelievable i just i can't get enough of this movie absolutely brilliant and it works so so well it's a shame we never got a sequel to it round two so uh yeah that is the uh the disc and then i'll lift that up and that's the original artwork i stuck with the alternate artwork because i thought it looked absolutely beautiful that's incredible so yeah that brings us on to the remake and yeah this is this is a poor remake i wasn't a fan of it um there's, it's very hard it's very hard to add to do anything fresh when it comes to friday the 20th on like the nightmare oh sorry the halloween movies that is uh but um yeah just this this film didn't do it for me unfortunately uh so that's the disc art there as well and then inside you have uh again that's actually quite nice cover art as well but yeah, it was hard to pick between the cover and the artwork and this and this box set and this disc sorry uh but i stuck with this one i thought it looked brilliant so uh yeah friday the 13th remake so then that brings us on to the bonus discs and there is two bonus discs on this and that gives you everything that's actually on it uh, quite a bit as you can see so open her up and you've got bonus disc one and two I do like the disc artwork it's quite nice and as you can see it's your one from the first one uh lying in the boat in the background so so that is the bonus disc so that takes us then lastly on to just this book you get uh it's a nice book as well and it's just a write-up of all the films themselves so i'm actually going to just run through very quickly but um that's actually a great pitch great page to turn it on to look at that isn't that incredible uh and yeah we'll run through it but uh, some of the artwork is actually quite nice in this book as well and yeah like i said it's just to talk about the entire that's the entire franchise but um i haven't seen these films now I, it's probably been two years now um we we normally watch it over the month of october for halloween but the way with the covid and all that and the way it was last october there was going to be no trick-or-treating around the country and it just yeah we just weren't in the mood for it and uh, it was just lacking halloween of course last year uh, when you don't have the kids around and this that and the other you know so so that is the friday the 13th folks uh, that's the box set sorry uh again very nice sesh uh again could have done a bit better with the box set itself it could have been just a bit of a hard kind of a harder box but other than that it is an incredible collection so let's jump onto the nightmare on m street collection and see what that looks like right so here we go nightmare on m street um well we'll start with the box artwork um definitely not near as good as the friday the 13th one if i'm totally honest but then again it is very simplistic and i think it's very effective and it works brilliantly so i'll take it around to the side and as you can see it's kind of the hand coming through like paper and you got a bit of a blood splatter and nightmare memories written on it um i could have done with the actual name nightmare on m street written on the box which is unfortunately it's not there but another thing you will notice with this box is it's unbelievably strong uh it's so much tougher than the friday the 13th box set and uh, it just doesn't move it's unbelievable it's um and as you can see compared to the friday the 13th box set there is no shelfware coming on this whatsoever and there never will be to be honest like you can tell by it if you can just feel it you just know and then right let's show the the, the discs themselves and as you can see there we go it's just forms a beautiful picture of uh freddy kind of peeping through a piece of paper uh with his glove coming through it absolutely insane artwork uh this is a digi book set um and uh yeah it's it's just it's in it, like when it comes to rarity uh, no question that this box set is yeah it's incredibly hard to buy there is only a thousand of them out though 
um very very limited and even if you do find one chances are it won't be with the box and you won't get the never sleeps again bonus disc as well so it's very hard to get the whole lot together um but if you are lucky to get one i tell you trust me folks it's definitely worth getting so uh let's take the discs out of this and uh have a look and see what they're like Right, so here we go. This is the first one, Nightmare on Elm Street. So with this entire collection, you get the original artwork for each movie. And to be honest with you, when you actually do see the artwork in all these, you understand why they never put alternate artwork on it because um, it's very hard to top what you get with this box set. So I'll take you around the back there and show you the, uh, everything you get with it. So uh, this is absolutely loaded with features as well. Just like the Friday the 13th box set, each, each film is has its own individual features and then there's also bonus discs as well which is great to see so i'll take this j card off there's a j card on this so as you can see these uh digibooks they are they're incredibly thick unbelievably thick and you actually sort of see the roundness of it there it really does come out a bit from the spine but um i hope the camera does pick this up it does have this fantastic leather kind of feel to it a leather look to it as well uh, and again, I hope the camera does pick it up because it looks incredible, but the artwork is just exquisite and uh, I'll just show you the back of it there as well. So uh, I'm going to quickly go through these books because this is uh, this is a German uh, digi book, so everything is going to be in writing. Oh, in German writing, sorry. Of course, everything will be in writing. So uh, yeah, you have your DVD, you've got your Blu-ray disc. So as you can see with the Blu-ray disc, it's the same as the standard release that everyone else has got out there. So uh, yeah, just run through this as quickly as I can. Uh, just appreciate some of the pictures that you do get in this. But um, it is, it's a beautiful box set, it's an incredible release, um, and I'm sure it's only a matter of time before um, Scream Factory uh, bring out a release of Nightmare on Elm Street, whether it tops this box set, well, we'll have to wait and see. So, right, that is Nightmare on Elm Street, that's the first one we got in. So, up next we have, gosh, uh, Freddy, Freddy's, Freddy's Revenge, yeah, so Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. Uh, love the artwork on this, again, looks incredible, take us around to the back. And that is everything you get with it. Again, a lot of, a lot of features on it. Uh, they always, they, each part has a documentary as well, which is great to see. So I'll take the J card off, show you the back artwork. And uh, again, yeah, I think you can get a good sense of like the way kind of just the digibook looks very leathery, uh, which is incredible. So uh, yeah, that is the artwork in full. Unbelievable. And then the spine. And then we'll open the digi book up and see what we got inside. So as you can see, we have the DVD, you have the Blu-ray. Now let me explain the Blu-rays in this. Like I said, uh, over here in Ireland, when they brought out the standard release, um, the parts three, parts parts two onwards were all put on two. So part the uh, part two and part three be on the same disc. So with this box set, because it is the same discs, so technically you get you get basically seven part twos and seven part threes. Well, sorry, no, you get, sorry, that's the wrong. You get two of each. So there'll be two twos, two threes, two fours, two fives and onwards. So uh, yeah, a bit silly. Don't like the way they put uh, two films onto one disc. I think it's very cheap. But luckily enough, the picture quality is quite decent on these, uh, which I'm happy to report. They're not absolutely jaw dropping. But, um, but they're still quite nice, but there is definitely, definitely room for improvement. And that's probably where Scream Factory might come in. Uh, because if the Friday the 13th transfers or anything to go by, uh, I'm sure they'll do a fantastic job in them. So yeah, that is uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. So that brings us on to Part 3. And uh, again, the artwork, just extraordinary. Absolutely extraordinary. Uh, no wonder they didn't put any alternate art artwork on this. There was, was just no need for it. So uh, yeah, that's everything again. And as you can see, the documentary continues. So take the J card off. Show you the back. Great picture of Freddy though. And then that's the artwork in full. And again, it's just exquisite. And that's the spine of it. So yeah, we'll open this up. And that's your DVD again. And uh, yeah, there you go. So it's basically the same disc that was in Power 2 is in Power 3. So... Uh, right, we'll run through this box. Uh, love this. This is one of my favourite of the sequels. Um, I think this is the Dream Warriors. There's a, a sexy Freddy Krueger. Uh, if there ever is. <laughs> if there ever is a thing. But uh, yeah, that's probably the closest you would get of it. <laughs> so, continue it on. Yeah, so this is definitely my favourite of the sequels. I think this is I think this is Dream Masters. Uh, I can't quite remember. I'm a bit hazy when it comes to the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. Because again, it's just not my go-to franchise. I do love them. But uh, I always leave it a couple of years in between to actually watch them. So, so yeah, that is part three. So then on to we go to part four. Again, amazing artwork. And then take us around to the back. And that's your, yeah, your features and everything. 
So take the J card off and what have we got the back? We got Freddy again, uh, naturally. And then I'll show you the proper artwork as well in full. Unbelievable, just cannot believe the artwork in these. I kind of forget how good they actually did look back in the 80s, amazing. So on we go now and that's your DVD and then you got your Blu-ray in the back here. Yeah. Um, so I'll scroll through. I have this thing with Nightmare on M Street franchise. I, I think I might have said this in the video when I actually showed this box at first. I, I, fe I find that when the franchise, it's always like a good movie, bad movie, good movie, bad movie. Uh, and this really sticks to that formula. I, I really do find that. Uh, because part two is probably one of my least favorite Nightmare on M Street movies. Then part three was one of my favorite sequels. And then it just, I, yeah, this one just didn't do it for me. It didn't cut it for me at all. Um, I did like, don't get me wrong, when I say it doesn't cut, I don't cut for me, it's, I'd still do love them. Uh, but they're just not near as good as part 3 or part 1, in my opinion. So that is part 4, right, part 5. Now, this is definitely, without question, my favourite artwork in this box set. I don't know why, but when I look at this uh, this artwork, I always think of that album cover of Iron Maiden, Seven Son of the Seven Son. It just has that feeling, I don't know what it is, I just get that sense uh, from the cover of that iron maiden album it's, it's incredible so uh yeah that is everything in the back take the j card off got another picture of, of freddy again posing and yeah that's the artwork in full unbelievable i can't get that is definitely my favorite unbelievable so yeah this is again another great movie i thought it went something a bit different with this movie i thought she kind of delved more into the whole backstory of freddy krueger which i quite liked and uh look at that it's not just uncredited. Some of the makeup in this movie, in these movies, are unbelievable. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, I have to give credit when credit's due to the makeup artists in this movie. Look at that. It's not just incredible. It really is amazing. And uh, yeah, this stuff, this film again was a bit of a return to form. I thought. Um, really enjoyed this one. And I used to, not, I used to be one of my least favorites. This one, but when I bought this box set and then we revisited it, um, I thought it was incredible. Look at that. Again, that was amazing. Just unbelievable. So yeah, that is part five, and that is the dream child. Right, off we go. And then on to part six, uh, the final Friday. Oh, the final Friday. Uh, Freddy's dead, sorry. Getting, thinking, get me wrong, um, franchise is uh, mixed up. So yeah, that's part six. Definitely up there, one of my least favorites as well. Definitely between this and part two, maybe. Uh, yeah definitely my least favorites so uh, this one just a bit too comedic for my liking but um i'll take that jake i'll actually i'll just give you a quick better look at that j card yeah and then throw it to a side and then we get uh freddy again and uh jace i just i can't get over how great these uh digi books look they're amazing so yeah that's the artwork first and uh yeah your dvd and you got your blu-ray so um so again in the comments folks let me know what you thought of these transfers on this uh on this Blu-ray set, um, because like I said, these these transfers are the exact same as the standard release, uh, nothing different whatsoever. And I'm kind of curious to hear what people think, uh, especially if you compare them to the like said the Friday the Thirteenth franchise. Uh, really, really curious to hear what people think. So uh, yeah, that is Final Friday. Oh, sorry, damn it, I'm at it again. Final Friday. Freddy's dead. God damn. Really, I'm all can't get myself confused here. So yeah, that is it. Part six. Right, on we go. And we've got definitely a return to form here with this one. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 7 and Freddy's New Nightmare. Uh, great to see Wes Craven come back to direct this. The artwork looks beautiful. Freddy is the, the makeup on him looks unbelievable. Incredible. So, uh, yeah, that's the back right there. Take the slip card off. And look at that. His, neck, his glove looks absolutely fantastic. I would love to get like a prop of that just to have in my room. Unbelievable. So, uh, yeah, and take us through the discs again. So that's your Blu-ray, and it's, it's, it's weird. When you watch this movie, you can kind of see where Wes Craven's directing style was going because it kind of continued with, from this movie into Scream, um, which I did love. Um, he's such, he was such a talented uh, film director. It was, um, we lost him too young. He was just, he was gone too soon. It was, um, it was very sad. It was... And I really hope they don't ruin the Scream franchise uh, with this next part without Wes Craven behind it because uh, to me it's un unimaginable. But uh, we'll wait and see. I'm still excited to see it. So uh, yeah, that is part seven. 
Uh, great film, loved it. So, as you can see now, we are coming to the end of this box, so we've one left. So there is one thing missing from this box that will annoy people, is we don't have a Jason vs. Freddy, but instead we do have the remake, which, again, that probably won't please too many people, because, uh, look, it's the remake, it's not great. Um, just like the Friday the 13th movie, it's not the best movie, it's not the best remake. Look, I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. I, I, I was, I, I, I was... I, I really thought I was going to absolutely detest this movie, uh, detest it, but um, I thought it was good. I enjoyed aspects of it. I thought he did an okay job, but for me, it has to be Robert England when it comes to Freddy Krueger. And the amount of makeup that is put on to the, these, their, onto their faces, I don't understand why Robert England, they didn't just get him back, because you'd never know that Freddy Krueger was aged. They could have done something with the makeup, I'm sure they could have. But um, he did an okay job with it. Um, I can't think of his name. What is his name? Uh, Jackie Earl Haley, is that his name? Yeah. He did an okay job. Uh, I loved his voice in it. It sounded class. Uh, so that is the back of it. So open it up. That's your DVD. You got your Blu-ray. And uh, yeah, quickly run through here as well. Um, yeah, so hopefully someday we will get another reboot to, um, to A Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th and make them, hopefully make them a bit better uh, than they actually were. Um, come on, get the big get the big names back. Get, get Kane Hodder back and get Robert England. That's what the people want. So just you know, just give what the give it what the fans want. And uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, someday it might happen. But I can't see it. So yeah, that is the Nightmare on Elm Street collection. So the last thing I can show in this now is the bonus disc you get with this. So as you can see, here we go. Now this box is it's big. Like if you compare that to a digi book, a normal one. Uh, is, oh, hit me camera, sorry about that. As you can see, it is quite thicker than the normal Digibooks, which are already thick as it is. So, uh, yeah, uh, take us through the artwork on this. And then the back of it there. Again, you got the glove and you got the kind of faces in the blades there. And then take that off. And again, I hope the camera picks that up. You can sort of see a face coming out of the bed there. So, uh, yeah, so you have the Never Sleeps Again documentary on this. And then you've got the I Am Nancy uh, disc on it as well. Uh, both of them are Blu-ray. I'm again. I'm just literally gonna. This is all in German. It's just yeah. It's it's a shame because I would love to see it in English, but um, every bit of it is in German. And uh, I would have actually loved to read up and see what they were talking about. But I presume it's just the history of the franchise. So uh, yeah, that is that is the book itself. So yeah, that is. It's again again. It's a very meaty book. Uh, did your book and it is beautiful and has a great feel to it it's incredibly strong again you know nothing's going to happen to us so that is it folks that is the the nightmare on m street co uh, collection and uh do love that box set it's let me if i can zoom out there a little bit uh it's a great box set very very strong the artwork is a bit lacking compared to the friday the 13th box set but um look it's down to use please do decide the uh, please decide uh, what you think is the best of the two box sets. I know my favourite, but I'm kind of curious to hear what you think. Right, so there you have it. That is the two box sets. So it's up to you now. I need you to leave a comment down below. Vote Nightmare on Elm Street or Friday the 13th. And what I'm going to do is... Uh, like it'll probably be two weeks three weeks when i do my next video on this uh the next battle but when uh i when i actually do 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 the next video i'm gonna add up all the vote votes on this video and i'm gonna announce the winner at the start of the next video so uh i just think it's gonna be fun again i really hope it works and i hope um you enjoy what i'm gonna show you as well because some of the things i am going to be showing on this is going to be very special uh, another reason to why I wanted to do this was because when I first started YouTube, uh, a lot of my favourite box sets and a lot of my busts, because I'm going to do uh, Battle of the Busts as well. There's going to be, it's going to be a change. It's going to be, yeah, I'm going to do as many changes as I can. But uh, yeah, a lot of my collectibles and a lot of my busts that I, I when I first started YouTube, I, sh I showed a lot of them off. And uh, they didn't get many views. Not many people were even aware of them. And uh, it's just a nice way to kind of go back over and revisit these videos because they're very cringing to look at. Uh, I had absolutely no confidence when doing them. Uh, I was using a terrible camera phone. And uh, yeah, I was just looking for some sort of excuse as well to kind of be able to show these off as well as be able to interact with my subscribers. So that is it, folks. That is it. So it's down to you. Please do vote. Nightmare on Elm Street or Friday the 13th. And uh, as per usual, if you did like this video, please do give us a thumbs up. 
and I, I can't hear, I can't wait to hear what you say about them two box sets. And uh, yeah, until my next video, take it easy out there, folks. See you soon. Bye bye.